Welcome. This is item number 44 in the released spring 2014 uh, end of course test for Algebra 1, the Tennessee version. I don't know if I said that part. Anyway, a sequence of numbers is represented by the function f of n is equal to 3n squared minus 10, which means if I have a number that I can input, or the number of the term, so a sequence is the sort of a really basic sequence, of course, would be like 1, 3, 5, 7, that sort of thing. So a, the function rule tells me how to find an individual one. I don't want to have to keep doing this up to a million. I'd like to just know that if I did, you know, minus 1 and I was 2n minus 1, uh, I could find the 99th term just by doing, you know, that. It's not really that complicated to do. So that's the idea of a function rule, in case you didn't know. You probably did, but anyway, there it is. So that would be 197. But with neither here nor there. N represents the position of the term in sequence. It just means where it's located. So in my original thing that I erased 10 seconds ago for no reason, the N value would just be where it's located in sequence. It's the first term, it's the second term, it's the third term. The F of N is the value. If you know all that, this question is actually super easy. So um, if f of 1 represents the first term, what is the ninth term of this sequence? So what we're going to do is do f of 9. So all I'm going to do is plus substitute, not plug. You're not supposed to say plug in anymore because it's too generic for some math stuff. I don't know. 3 times 9 squared minus 10. Uh, so when I make that happen, 9 squared, of course, is 81 times 3 gives you 243, and then minus 10 gives you 233. And that's really all they're asking. It's not like this ridiculously overwrought experience to do this question. They're really just trying to get to get the feeling as if you understand how function notation works in the first place. And if you do, simple and easy, so no problem.